Hey YouTube. So uh, what I ended up doing is took some two inch by two inch uh, square tubing and <clears throat> and I followed the the straight all the way. See where the frame it, it bends there down. But if you're gonna put regular smaller um, leaf springs in there like I did you're gonna have to come off the straight on the back and bring it all the way straight in the front and then weld in your leaf spring hangers you know we're, this is a Chevy rear end under a Dodge uh, I don't know like a 2000 Dodge Ram uh, I don't know. I think it's a three-quarter ton. Well, it's a big old bed, but uh, so I was able to actually weld this one, this hanger here, to this brace here, and to the frame here. Whereas the back ones, I could only weld to this two-inch piece of square tubing. But I mean, that's more than sturdy to, and I just. Stitched weld across the top, you know, two and a half inches, 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 all the way down, and then on the underside as well. And, uh, yeah, we'll get that uh, jack in there, manana, and then over here, we did the same thing to this one, and we just carried that, that straight all the way and did the same weld out here and uh i had to do it like that because the rear end don't fit this uh this bed so or this frame excuse me bed or the frame really now it does though and we're gonna put some tires on it <coughs> fix the jack and uh should be ready to find a new home there we go. You guys be blessed. God over everything. Jesus is my king. Bye.